Hey everyone, um, I just got in, I was out all day today, and I just got home, it's around like 10 o'clock or so, and I just found that Ava has, uh, she's just shed today at some point, and um, the last video that I posted of her was right before the shed, when her colors were really dull, um, you know, she wasn't really looking too sharp. Um, but this is her after. She, uh, she shed today, and she looks beautiful. Beautiful. Um, this camera is, well, honestly, extremely frustrating. And it's, it's not going to pick up, you know, her, her actual color. But, um... I mean, it's it's gorgeous. She's uh, she's got a lot of pink on her sides, which um, sadly enough, the camera's not really picking up at all. To be honest, I mean, you can kind of see it a little bit, but um, she's she's got a very strong iridescence to her scales, which also isn't really getting picked up. Jeez, that's it really it's really frustrating because she's such a beautiful snake want to be able to show her off but this camera just I don't know um, she's got a very beautiful tail down here Let's see if we can get that up here under the light but she's got a very beautiful tail um, it's not really red to be honest it's more of like a an orange kind of color which um, I, again I've heard people I've heard some people say that uh, Ava might have some Hog Island boa jeans in her because of A, the tail color, and the black speckled scales that sort of are all over her body. Um, so again, I mean, I don't know if there's any truth to that or not, but um, I don't know, that'd be pretty cool, I, I guess. I mean, it would explain her smaller size, but... Uh, as many of you know from uh, previous videos, Ava is a rescue boa that I've rescued um, about a year ago. And, uh, you know, when I first got her, uh, her previous owner had taken extremely uh, bad care for her. He really didn't take care of her at all. Um, he kept her in like a... Like a somewhere between a 20 30 gallon tank or something fed her you know once every six months or so um you know whenever he could remember which wasn't often never had water never had any uh the proper humidity or heating or anything like that um you know when i first got her she was severely dehydrated i could see all of her ribs she had barely any strength i i really honestly didn't think she was going to make it um, but I brought her to the vet, they hydrated her, and, uh, you know, immediately, I guess I was lucky, immediately she started feeding really well. I mean, she was just starving. Um, but, uh, to see the other video explaining her story and all that fun stuff and everything, um, I'll put a link to that video in the description, and you can check that out. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys Ava after her shed. And, um, yeah, I guess that's it. So we'll see you guys later. Say bye. Bye, Ava.
got stairs, Chris? Chris? Yeah. You down here? Yeah. Don't stay up late.